Ben Whiting with Paddle TV here once again on my mission to help people get outdoors and have the best experience possible. And to that end, I'm here to give away some awards. Awards, in this case, to the best kayaks of the year. Now, what does best kayaks of the year mean? Well, best kayaks can be kayaks that, you know, that offer great value, great performance, that solve a problem, or maybe they just put a big fat smile on your face because they're awesome. I need to preface this selection though by letting you know that in order to get a Paddle TV award, I had to fully test the kayak. I'm not giving any awards to something that looks good online or on the shelf. I need to test it and make sure it's deserving of an award. And because of that, there are other kayaks out there that do deserve awards. And when I test them, I'll give them awards. But it doesn't mean that these kayaks aren't fully deserving of an award themselves. And so one other thing to note is that if you're particularly interested in a portable kayak, an inflatable kayak or a folding kayak, I already gave awards to the best folding and inflatable kayaks. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description box down below. But this one is just about the best kayaks of the year. Let's get right into it. The first award goes to Swell Watercraft and the Scupper 14 for being one of the best sit-on-top kayaks around. The Scupper 14 has a retail price of 1250 US dollars. It's 14 feet 1 inch long. It's 25 and a half inches wide. It weighs 64 pounds or 29 kilos and has a capacity of 390 pounds or 177 kilos. So why does the Scupper 14 get a Paddle TV award? Well, sit on top kayaks are traditionally made to offer stability over performance. That doesn't apply to the Scupper 14. The Scupper 14 offers the performance of a sit inside kayak on a sit on top platform with the benefits of a sit on top, meaning you're sitting on the kayak, you're free to move around. There's no feeling of confinement whatsoever. It's easier to get in and out. The way they do that is they have the sitting position very low in the kayak. You don't really feel like you're sitting on top of the kayak. You actually feel like you're sitting inside the kayak or in the kayak. Now, the tricky thing there is that your sitting position and your feet are lower than the water line around you. And so the drain holes or scupper holes that typically drain water from on the deck out of the kayak or off the sit on top kayak, if you have those open, the water's actually coming in because they're lower than the surrounding water. So they had to come up with a unique one way scupper plug system to deal with that. And it works fantastic. The result is a sit on top kayak that paddles wonderfully, but you still get the benefits of a sit on top kayak. So who is the Scupper 14 for? Well, it's for anyone who wants a sit on top kayak instead of a sit inside kayak because the benefits of getting in and getting out being easier, not feeling confined in there, and the fact that it doesn't swamp like a sit inside can. On top of that, it's for someone who is willing to give up some stability for performance because that's what you do with the Scupper 14. You lose a little bit of stability, but you get a, a kayak that really likes traveling through the water. Next award goes to PHC Kayaks and the Leo for being one of the best touring kayaks around. The PH Leo comes in two sizes a high volume or HV version and a mid volume or MV version. One I used and tested was the HV version. It has a retail price of 2,599 US dollars. It's 16 feet long. It's 23 inches wide. It weighs 60 pounds or 27 kilos. It has a volume of 87 gallons or 333 liters. And it has a max paddler capacity of 275 pounds or 124 kilos. Now the reason the Leo is getting a Paddle TV award is because it is a really well-made kayak, but it's also really fun to paddle. It's almost like the, the 
the big brother or big sister of the PH Virgo, which I tested and last year and gave a Paddle TV award last year. This boat is two feet longer though. I took it on a two day overnight trip, a river trip to test it out. And it even had class one, uh, one and two whitewater. So it was a great opportunity to test how well it traveled in flat water, but also handled some rougher stuff. It was a very fast and maneuverable kayak, a fun to paddle kayak in a wide variety of conditions. And it just felt great. And that's why it's getting the award. But who is it for? It's for people that uh, want an all conditions touring kayak or sea kayak. They can take almost anywhere. And it's for people who are okay with spending a little bit more than other touring kayaks for a premium sea kayak that will probably be a lifetime kayak. It's also at 23 inches wide, it's a fairly narrow kayak, but it's stable enough for beginners to be able to enjoy as long as they're adventuresome, but responsive enough, fast enough for expert paddlers to love. The next Paddle TV Award goes to, I feel like we need a drum roll or something. Drum roll. Seagull, and there are 330 inflatable kayak for being one of the best gateway kayaks around. The Sea Eagle 330 has a retail price between 250 and 450 US dollars, depending on the package you get. It's 11 feet, one inch long. It's 34 inches wide. It weighs 26 pounds or 12 kilos, and it has a max capacity of 500 pounds or 227 kilos. Its primary use is for all conditions. So why is the Sea Eagle 330 getting a Paddle TV award? Well, very simply, I mean, what kind of value does it offer? 250 to $400 for almost everything you need. You get the kayak, you get paddle or paddles and seats in the boat. It handles one or two paddlers. You get a pump and you get the carry bag. The only thing you're really missing is a life jacket. For that price, you know, you have to question the quality of everything and whether it's going to be a fun boat to paddle. And what I can tell you is, no, it's not a high performance paddling machine, but it is a quality entry level kayak. It's something that's much more than just a pool toy. It's the kind of kayak that allows people to try kayaking, to affordably give it a whirl and actually have a good experience on the water. Ultimately, if you stick with kayaking, you're probably going to want to upgrade to better kayaks, but you can take your paddling quite a ways with this Gateway Kayak. So who is the Sea Eagle 334? Well, it's for anybody who, well, first of all, wants a portable kayak, something that they can just throw in the trunk of the vehicle or store in their closet at home. But it's also, for someone who wants to paddle primarily, I would say solo, even though it's designed to be used as a tandem as well, it doesn't have a lot of room for a tandem. And so it's two full-size adults will be pretty crammed in there. Uh, two full-size adults will probably want to go up to the 370, the larger version. So primarily a single person's kayak, unless they're paddling with maybe a child or they're two smaller adults in there. It's for people that aren't sure they are totally into kayaking and want an affordable solution to try kayaking but still have a pretty good kayak. It's also for people that might already know they love kayaking but they don't have the budget to get a higher performance kayak. They just need something that's affordable but still provides a great experience. The next Paddle TV Award goes to... Thank you. Jackson Kayak and the Rockstar 5 for being one of the best whitewater kayaks ever. The Jackson Kayak Rockstar 5 comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. It retails for $1,599 US dollars. The large version that I tested has a length of 5 feet 11 inches, a width of 27 and a half inches. It weighs 34 pounds. It has a volume of 69 gallons, and the optimum paddler size is 180 to 240 pounds. So why does the Jackson Kayak Rockstar get a Paddle TV award? Well, pretty simply, you know, when I was testing it, I haven't had as much fun paddling in ages. 
It's a pure joy to paddle. It surfs like a dream. It spins like a top. It is incredibly easy to initiate ends on flat water or in white water. It just makes playing easy, which means it makes it fun. And it's a great kayak, surprisingly, for everyone from a beginner or relative beginner right to an expert. Now, who is the Rockstar 5 for? Well, it's for people who want a playboating machine. It will run rivers. It does it reasonably well for a playboat, but it really is designed for surfing waves, playing in holes, playboating. Now, I used the large version of the Rockstar. I'm six foot two, 200 pounds. I've got about a 34 inch uh, inseam. And I was, I would say lengthwise, I was at the longer end for this kayak. Any taller than me, and this kayak probably isn't for you. The next Paddle TV award goes to Liquid Logic and the Saluda 12 for being one of the best recreational kayaks around. The Liquid Logic Saluda comes in three sizes an 11 foot, a 12 foot, and a 14 and a half foot tandem model. The Saluda 12 is what I tested and it retails for $1,099 US dollars. It's 12 feet long, it's 29 inches wide, it weighs 51 pounds, and it has a max capacity of 300 pounds. So why does the Saluda 12 get a Paddle TV award for being such an awesome recreational kayak? Well, it's not because it's got a lot of bells and whistles. The reason, the primary reason is because it combines paddling performance with stability incredibly well. This is a boat that anyone can hop into and feel stable, but it doesn't give up a ton of performance for that stability. It's a fun boat to paddle. It's designed to cut through the water, and it does. It cuts through the water beautifully. It also can be held on edge nicely for paddling in uh, places with current or just for, for turning the kayak for paddlers who want a bit more maneuverability from their kayak. It really is a wonderful marriage of performance and stability. On top of that, it's a very comfortable kayak. It has a beautiful framed seat padded leg supports, and solid foot braces to give you a customized solid feel in the kayak. So who is the Saluda 12 for? Well, it's for anybody who really wants a no-nonsense recreational kayak, something that's stable but paddles very well, they can cover distance in it, but it's only really for flat or calm, protected waters, no major waves. And I would say that anyone under 230 pounds could enjoy this, Anyone over 230 pounds, well, the performance and stability will suffer. So there you have it, this year's award winners for best kayak. Now, there are other award winners, and so I'll leave a link in the description box down below to previous year's uh, Paddle TV award videos and their winners. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if, the, if you think there are some kayaks that should also win awards that I might not know about, or maybe I do, but that I should definitely test. And hey, uh, make sure to check out the infooradventure.com website. It's a new website that has all sorts of gear reviews for paddling, for hiking and backpacking, and for other activities as well. Uh, gear reviews, tips, and much more. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there. Until next time, I'm Ken Whiting with Paddle TV.